Yo. What up on the two? We're gonna talk about this developing utterly sad story that is taking place. Allegedly in America's so called your industry is proven guilty. But in regards to the Flash star, Ezra Miller, he has a lot of issues on his hands. Whether he's really guilty of it or not, the way the story is shaking out, I mean, and, and it's, it's, it's really sad because he came out of nowhere and broke onto the scene as far as mainstream mass appeal role in the DC franchise. And when you get these roles, whether it's DC or Marvel, all you have to do, the basic, all you gotta do is the basics. Cancel. All you gotta do is do the basics. Stay out of trouble, keep your nose clean. Metaphorically and literally. But it seems like a lot of these guys fall into traps of the temptations and the debauchery of Hollywood, Hollywood weird, if you will. And they end up in situations like this. Flash star Ezra Miller can't be located by court trying to serve protection order. I mean, let's read to that. This is good. This is this link in the description column down below uh, basically saying flash star Israel Miller has been hit with a protective order in North Dakota but hasn't been located by the court a court approved protective order against Miller on behalf of Chase was it Chase Iron Eyes and his wife Sarah Jumping Eagle the two claimed Miller physically and emotionally abused their teenager, Dakota Iron Eyes. Oh, oh, okay. there's, there's a lot to unpack there. I mean, where, where are these people getting these names? Where are these people getting these names from? I mean, am I missing something? What? On behalf of Chase Iron Eyes and his wife, Sarah Jumping Eagle to claim Miller physically and emotionally abused their teenager. Dakota Iron Eyes. Now initially I'm thinking they referring to people by their characters and plays or movies they might have been in. I don't I don't know what's going on with these names. I'm just um, I'm reading this for the first time with you guys. Parents have accused the Flash Star of psychologically manipulating, physically intimidating, and endangering the safety and welfare of Dakota Iron Eyes, according to the petition obtained by Fox News Digital. Yikes. While the court approved the protective order on June 7th, the court has not been able to locate or serve Miller, according to the Los Angeles Times. Allegedly, we don't know. This is all alleged. But a lot of these Hollywood, Hollywood circles, these people have mental issues and things that they either they in denial as far as dealing with. They don't believe they have certain problems. I mean, just ignore them for long periods of time, and then it just comes out because they haven't sought out help, they have sought out treatment for their, for their illness, for their debaucherous behaviors. And, and with Israel, he's basically, because this is not even, this is not 
an isolated incident as far as him being getting in trouble and having run ins with the law. And I've seen articles from DC where they were being asked if they were gonna cut him out of the out of the franchise as far as future projects and current projects because correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he have wasn't there a flash movie For silver screen going to be made with him as a star. I mean, I know they tried to run it before and it didn't really do that good as far as uh, I think he, he had like a show on the WB, something like that. Didn't really, didn't really hit like that. I know he was a secondary star and uh, it's on the, did you see the, the uh, Justice League movies? And, no, he was decent. Supporting actor. I was never really a Flash kind of guy. Not all the DC characters. He was, he was not on my list as one of my favorite characters. But as far as the, the real life action hero uh, movies is concerned, he, he did a decent job. I mean, he had, he had potential. All he had to do was stay out of trouble and not do debaucherous things. Not do this crazy, just how weird, just. But it's all allegedly. We don't know. We have no idea. But it does look suspicious that, you know, if you didn't do what you're being accused of, wouldn't you make it easy to be found? Like, okay, yeah, let's go to court. Let's, let's get it out there. I mean, if you didn't do anything. In theory, all you would have to actually do is get you a good lawyer, tell them what did happen, didn't happen, whatever, and then face your accusers. But instead, you're avoiding papers and trying not to get served. I mean, it, you know, guilty, I mean, innocence of proving guilty, and this is all allegedly but you avoiding getting served is not looking good on your part, though. I'm just saying, just my personal opinion. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave a link to this article down in the description box down below. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. It, did, did Israel Miller go off the deep end? Is, is he just out there now? Who knows? And if he is, it's definitely a sad, sad story because he's pretty much throwing away basically the golden goose egg as far as DC. The live action cancel. It's basically throwing away. action superhero movies gross a lot of money. I mean the hundreds of millions to billions of dollars. These movies gross a lot of money. You're getting a lot of exposure and a lot of more avenues of opportunity that will open up just because you were in these movies. And for you to just play just screw it up like this. It's, it's a sad situation. Hopefully there's nothing to it, but like I said, him making himself not available to be served these papers so he can face his accusers looks very suspicious in my personal opinion. And it's all it is. An opinion, because these allegations are alleged. So I'll wait and see. Uh, Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe if you like my content. Bill, so you don't miss any videos, any, any videos. Now hit up the cash app, support the content. Dollar sign, Cobra Clutch. Three, five, seven. Red Lizard, three, five, seven. In the wind, once again.